Good to, good to see you. Today we had uh, regulators in front of the committee, so it makes perfect sense that you would be questioning uh, and maybe critically questioning regulators. But there was very little criticism of the bankers uh, at Silicon Valley Bank who brought this, in many ways, upon themselves. Uh, how much responsibility do the bankers have as opposed to certainly the regulators who did seem like they weren't regulating sufficiently? No, I think it's a combination of both, and many of us have raised that point, right? You obviously had a bank who uh, had a uh, very questionable asset mix uh, that grew very fast. They didn't have any risk management oversight in their own bank, right? For months, the position was open. The point we were having with the regulators there is you had tools fed to do something about this, and you didn't do anything, and why not, right? It's not as if the tools didn't exist. It's not as if they, even, they didn't know that there was a problem at Silicon Valley Bank. They did. They just didn't do anything about it. They didn't use all the tools in the tool chest. And what we're saying is, why not try to get to the bottom of that to prevent it from happening again, to make sure the Fed's doing their job, and to the point that was made to prevent a systemic, broader problem. But this was a very unique circumstance in the case of this bank with these asset mixes. We just don't want it to spread like wildfire, as people pointed out, as assets are moved out of smaller, medium, and regional banks. We don't want a system where, we don't ha where those banks are too small to survive. That would, to me, be the exact opposite of what our goals have been. And as uh, Steve just pointed out from the hearing, uh, money can move in and out of banks uh, much more quickly uh, today exactly. than it did in the past. Uh, he ended, Steve, that is, his... I made that point, and the social media point, right? And yeah. that social media point that's been made, and I made it to the committee now, like, the fact that you had $40 billion leave in a few hours uh, because it spread like wildfire, not just within the small community there in Silicon Valley, but, of course, over social media. And you can... I asked uh, 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 Treasury uh, Assistant Secretary Lang about this exact question. What, do you, what are we going to do now, and how's the Fed and Treasury thinking about this? How should we in Congress be thinking about preventing runs that could happen in a flash second because of social media? Runs that could happen in a flash second. Depositors who are co uh, co uh, covered only up to $250,000. Is there appetite in Congress to raise that deposit insurance limit from $250,000 to a million or what? How do you, how do you keep uh, depositors' faith in the system sound? So I think that point you just made is the key. How do you keep deposit? We, we can't have a system where uh, depositors don't feel that their money is safe, right? So we all understand that. That's something, and I work with both sides of the aisle. It's something that folks understand. The question is, how do you do it? I believe, you know, you've got to find a way to raise that, that uh, insurance number up. Do you then, if it's significant, do you then price for the size of that risk of an account? Uh, that, that's, one que that's one idea that's been thrown around. But I think we, we do recognize, as was pointed out by Lang today, is you can't have a system where people are worried, right? That's a systemic threat. If we suddenly, uh, people in, in small, medium, and regional banks don't think their money, their deposits are safe overnight, that's, that would be a systemic problem. You then would just go back to a few big banks that are too big to fail. So we have to figure this out as a system. People right now need to feel comfortable. We've got to stop uh, all the, the money that's flowing out of those smaller banks and stabilize things. But the Fed also has to do its job, and the FDIC uh, and state regulators have to do their jobs in watching these, these banks of all different sizes and looking at their asset mix, making sure there's proper oversight. Uh, and that, to me, is an immediate concern.